This video is going to show you how to share a file and or a folder from SkyDrive, Windows SkyDrive. So it presumes that you have a SkyDrive uh, account, that you've got SkyDrive installed on your computer, uh, and that you've got some files in there. But what I want to do is send a couple of these pictures, create a link to those pictures, and share those pictures to myself, pretend I'm someone else, uh, so that I can access those pictures without emailing them to, to the person. So emailing a picture, if they're quite large pictures, is going to clog up that person's email server, um, take some of their bandwidth away, maybe use up some of their data, uh, things that you don't need to do anymore. You don't need to download them and save them on a memory stick, burn them to a CD, DVD. You can just share them, share them online. So I'm in my SkyDrive account, and there's two pictures here. Those pictures are also on my SkyDrive uh, folder on my hard drive. So I'm using a Mac. So here's my SkyDrive folder. And there are the two pictures. Those two there are these here. So they exist on my hard drive. They also exist in my SkyDrive account. And they probably the originals of them would also be in the pictures folder. So if I wanted to add another picture to my SkyDrive account, I can just go into Pictures uh, and pick another picture of the cat, a different one. Uh, and instead of dragging it in, because that's going to uh, replace it, I don't want to. I want to keep an, an original. I'm just going to copy it, copy it, and then paste it into my SkyDrive account. So I've now got three pictures there. It's not shown up here yet because it's going to be synchronizing. Uh, up here. So it's scanning for files. Now it's uploading that picture to my SkyDrive folder. So I have to have a, I have to be online. I have to have my internet connection working for this to work. And it's uploading that picture. It's 1.9 megabytes. And whilst that's not terribly big, if I was to send all three of these photos in an email, then that's starting to become quite a large of email. So that has has um, been uploaded. And if I refresh that page. There should be now three pictures in my SkyDrive folder. To share more than one of these pictures is going to require me putting them into the folder. I can't share uh, two of them in the same email because they're going to have a different link for each photo. So to share them as a, as a group of pictures, I'm going to, to select, well, I'm just going to drag one into there, drag the other one into there. And now I've got, I should have, two pictures in that folder. So if I want to share that folder, I can click on that folder. There are the two pictures inside it. And then I've got a sharing option. And this, this is the same process as if, as if you had just a single picture. You just select it and look for the sharing option up in the menu bar. Uh, to share it, I, I will get a link. And that link. I've got three choices of what that link will be, and we'll look at that in a minute. Once I've got the link, I can just send an email straight from my SkyDrive um, Outlook email, Hotmail or Outlook, it's the same thing now. So I can send that to the, put the recipients in there, give them a message, put the link in, uh, decide if I want them to be able to edit that picture, and I, I will probably deselect that because I don't want them to edit it. And I won't select this one because if I do, anyone who gets the link in that email will have to have a SkyDrive account and be signed in in order to be able to access that picture, and that uh, defeats the purpose. So the, before I can get to that, I need to get a link. The other options, I could just send that, share that picture on Facebook. So putting it into Facebook, um, putting the link in because I, I still need to get the link first, uh, and then post it so it will appear on Facebook or Twitter if I wanted to add some more services. Um, but first I have to, uh, to get a link. There are three choices for a link to that folder, cats. The first one, anyone who gets the link can see the files. They won't be able to edit the files. And by see the files, it means they can view them online on, in, the, in my SkyDrive account. Um, they can also watch them as a slideshow. They can download them and edit them on their computer as long as they have a, a program like Photoshop installed, but they can't edit them online. 
uh, and that would probably be the one I always choose because I don't want people to be able to edit the pictures online that are going to affect um, my SkyDrive account. I just want them to be able to look at them. This is just to save me emailing the whole picture. I can view and uh, give them a link that will view and edit, so the same options, but this will allow them to edit it online. Or I could create a public link, and that's searchable, so that anyone searching for for a picture of a cat, depending on what the tags are that that I have on that photo or what the title of that photo is, may come across this picture in a search engine. And if that's been made public, they will be able to to click on that picture in the search engine and be able to access it. That, that to me is a little bit dangerous, so it's not going to be one that I ever choose. So to get a link, I'm going to uh, pick the first one, create a link. And that link is you know, fairly long, so I can shorten it. And it's this link that I'm going to email to the recipient. I'll email, email it to myself. All right, so I have the link, copy it. I now need to email it to myself, so I will... Uh, not use my SkyDrive email because I have to out, I'd sign out of the account to make this truly work. Uh, I'll send it using my Gmail. So send it just back to myself to Gmail. Give it a subject. Give it a message. Put in the link and send. And then reload it to see the message. Okay, there's the, the picture and there's the link. Before we can test this, I just need to sign out of SkyDrive. So I'm doing this truly as someone who has not got an account and is not signed in. So back to Gmail. There's the picture, there's the link. So it's going to take me straight into that SkyDrive folder of which I have some I can see it. So clicking on the picture, I can play the, uh, both of them in a slideshow in full screen. Do it that way. I can view the original. So however big it is, because it's looking a little bit, that's a bit smaller on the actual picture that was taken. Uh, it gives me information about the actual picture and the image and its size and when it was taken, etc. Uh, sharing. I can't share it because I don't own the, I have not got the permissions to this picture, so I can't do anything with the, with the permission, with the picture. Um, I can view the folder, but that's, the, that's because I've been given that link anyway. So I can't really do a lot of damage. Certainly can't see any other files or folders that are in this SkyDrive. All I have access to is what was given to me. So I can download it. If I want to see that picture, then I can download it. And it's going down. You can see down here, it's going down to um, my downloads folder. And then I can edit it. Uh, so it's quite, quite a good way of sending your, your files. And it doesn't have to be photos. It can be files. It could be documents in a folder. A good way of sharing a whole folder. Uh, let's pause there while I sign back in. All right, so I've signed back in. So there's the, the folder. If at any stage I want to turn that link off, uh, I can go back into the sharing. And this is the link that I already have here. If I clicked on that link, it's going to give that link back to me again. Uh, and I can shorten it. The uh, other options to get a link, you'll notice when I click that, that the first one that we had was just viewing the file is not there anymore because that's this one. Uh, if I want to create another uh, link for viewing and editing uh, and shorten that and done. So now I've got two links in the sharing, two of them. And the only one left is the make public. So if I want to withdraw those links, I can come back into this and remove the permissions and do that one, remove the permissions, done. So nothing is shared now. Those files are just mine I, and no one else can get access to them. Uh, folder actions, I can do other things. I can delete the folder and move the folder. So I can do other things with that folder or just go back to uh, all of my documents and files. Simple.